Hey, it's me, MLV. Here is Wednesday's one shot. This is Yamamoto for this one. He is one of the lesser known characters from the Nakoma team in Hayaku, but just as important as I'm sure you'll all agree. Paired with a female listener, another fluff one, which seems to be my usual preference. Um, just very straightforward, as you will see. Just sit back, relax, grab your fluffy pillow and some diabetes medication because it's another fluffy one and enjoy. He was really cute and straightforward. That's what you liked about him. You'd been trying to find a way to strike up a conversation, but every time your eyes met, he'd just put his head down and walk straight past you. Is he deliberately ignoring me? You thought as you watched his back disappear through the crowds behind you as they flooded the halls at the school. Did you talk to him? Your friend asked as you walked back into the classroom. No, you sighed, letting your face show your disappointment. I've tried, but every time I make eye contact with him and smile, he just looks straight down and walks past me, pretending that he doesn't hear me calling out his name. Hmm, she hummed, crossing her arms across her chest. Okay, you know what though? What if you disguised yourself, dressed up as a dude or something? Huh? Yeah, he wouldn't know it's you, and he'd talk to you, and you could find out why he's not speaking to the girl version of you. Actually, that's not a bad idea, he said. I'm going to do it. He jumped at the opportunity, dressing up as a guy. She smirked and let a snort of amusement from her nostrils. Okay, good luck then. The next day you brought all your stuff to school for the disguise, and after school, changed and walked down to the gym where the Nakoma team were practicing. Poking your head through the door, you spotted Yamamoto and watched him play. He was good at his position, and you swooned over his natural ability and style. After they finished, you pulled back and waited outside the door, leaning up against the wall outside for him to appear. The team slowly left, and as Yamamoto stepped out, you called out to him. He stopped and looked at you, not recognising you, and immediately arcing up. Who are you? he said in a threatening voice, seeing you in, a, in plain clothes and thinking that you were a spy from another school. What do you want? You here to start trouble? Whoa! No, dude, calm your farm, you replied, holding your hands up in surrender. I go to this school. I just started and I met your sister. I told her I liked volleyball, so she told me your name and what you looked like. I'm just curious about the team, and if I could maybe join? Oh, Yamamoto said, almost sheepishly. Uh, y yeah, sure. Um, what do you want to know? For the next 20 minutes, you and Yamamoto sat outside the gym and chatted. This was heaven for you. You chatted so naturally and you were having a great time, but the question still remained. He was able to talk to you here when you were in disguise, but why couldn't he talk to you when you weren't in disguise? Hey, you're pretty cool, man, he said after a while. What's your name? My name? Oh, um, you scrambled, quickly saying your neighbor's, male neighbor's name, and he nodded. Here, put your number in, he said, then said, pulling out his phone and handing it to you. I get to text him? Oh my gosh, I'm going to text him. He's going to text me. You freaked out for a second and then put your number into his phone and tried to act as casual as possible. You chatted a little more, then he excused himself to go home because it was getting dark and you watched him jog off before doing a little happy dance. The next day at school, you filled in your friend on all the happenings and she was stoked but just as confused as you were about why he couldn't talk to you when you weren't in disguise. I don't think it's because he hates me. He's never even spoken to me, so I have no idea, he said to her. To her. Ask him. See if you can find out why he won't talk to you. Mention that you know yourself and that you're nice or something. That sounds so weird, she then chuckled. Yeah, I might, you mused. Just then your phone vibrated in your pocket. It's him, you squealed when you saw the message. He said to come by the gym this afternoon again. Okay, we'll then do it this afternoon then, she encouraged. That afternoon, you walked down to the gym in your male disguise and waited for Yamamoto to finish up. He kindly introduced you to the team and you greeted them all politely. None of them recognised you. Hey, you like yakisoba? You asked him after you two had been chatting for a bit. Yeah, it's my favourite, he replied excitedly. Oh, cool. Want to get some from the store with me? I saw they were on sale this morning. Yeah, he said with a sparkle in his eye. Sounds good. You grinned at him and the two of you fell in step, chatting easily while you walked to the store. Once you'd bought the bread, you hesitantly asked him the burning question. Hey, so do you like anyone? You asked, trying to keep it candid. I do, 
but I'm really not good with talking to girls. I just don't have the courage to talk to the girl I like. Ah, oh, so that's it, he thought, nodding thoughtfully with a mouthful. What's her name? Maybe I can introduce you, he added calmly. Really? Are you good at talking to girls? He asked, looking at you like you were some kind of deity. Yeah, he chuckled. It's not hard, dude. The girl I like is gorgeous, and she has tried to talk to me a few times, but I don't know what it is. I just clam up. He scowled at the ground. You chuckled lightly. Who is she? It almost felt surreal when he said your name. All of the sounds around you completely blurred out, and you felt like you weren't even in your own body anymore. You were still walking, but your heart was pounding so hard you could hardly breathe. The half mouthful of yaki soba bread wasn't helping either. Do you know her? He asked you. Uh, yeah, I, I think I've talked to her a few times, you said, trying to sound cool. She's nice. I uh, just wish I could talk to her more, like, I don't know, like I can with you, he said, then made some kind of gesture that indicated that it was something stupid that he'd said and that you should just forget about it. But you chuckled lightly and gently punched his shoulder. What if next time you just stop in front of her and wait? I'm sure she'd talk to you, you offered. Or what if you introduce me and help me talk to her, he asked. That'd be really cool. You panicked. Uh, 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 um, uh, come on, he cajoled. Please, I'm just really not good at holding a conversation. Uh, I don't know if... Tomorrow, he pressed. Uh... Um, tomorrow, okay? Meet me outside her class at first break. Before you could answer, he started to jog away. It's a promise, remember? He called as he ran off. Ah, damn, he grumbled to yourself. How am I going to get out of this one? The next day, you hesitantly walked out of your classroom at first break and saw Yamamoto standing nervously a little way down the hall, so you approached him. Hey, you greeted him a little shyly. I've been trying to talk to you. You were about to keep talking when he put his head down and quickly turned away, then ran down the hall, leaving you there, defeated. This is so stupid, you thought with annoyance. I'm going to tell him who I am this afternoon. After school, you changed into your guy outfit and headed to the gym. You'd only just stepped in through the doors when Yamamoto spotted you and started running towards you angrily. You kept me hanging, he yelled as he closed the gap be between him and you, grabbing your collar. I I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you stammered trying to grab his hands off you so your feet could touch the ground again, as he had yanked you off the floor. Why didn't you show? I thought we were friends, he said angrily, his words revealing the hurt before his face did. You struggled with him until you were outside, then, using all your might, you grabbed his arms and pushed him up against the outside gym wall, pinning him there as you glared up at him from under your low-slung hat. You can't talk to her, you started, pulling back a little bit when it looked like he wasn't going to fight anymore. But... It's easy with me, right? As you said that, you removed your hat, then pulled some of the fake hair off your face and took off your bulky jacket, then looked back up at him. He'd gone bright red, staring at you in dif disbelief. You can talk to me. I, I'm sorry I tricked you, but I've been wanting to talk to you for the longest time and I didn't know how to get you to talk to me, so this was my only option. You sighed and stepped back. Please don't stop talking to me, you pleaded sadly, looking at the ground. I really like you. Date me, he suddenly blurted out. Date me. Done, you replied just as suddenly, silence hanging in the air as you looked at each other, then slowly cracked a smile. And that's the end. I will hopefully get back into stuff that's not so filled with cavities. Sorry, everybody, giving you... Uh, a healthy dose of fluffy material these last few times uh, focus on something a little bit more devious maybe next time stay tuned for next Wednesday's one shot